Welcome to another example question about uh, constant acceleration in one dimension. I'm Mr. John from explainingmaths.com. What does it say? It says a van traveling at 40 miles per hour skids to a halt in a distance of 15 meters. Find the acceleration of the van and the time taken to stop, assuming that the deceleration is uniform and the van travels along a straight line. And we assume that one mile is 1,600 meters, okay? Because who works in miles, okay? Uh, we have standard international units, which are the meters. Let's quickly get rid of those ugly miles, okay? So um, uh, we'll start with that. 40 miles per hour is the same, and we're going to go to meters per second, eh? because that's what we usually work with. So 40 miles is going to be 40 times 1,600 meters. And an hour are 3,600 seconds, eh? uh, 60 times 60. 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. And if you work it out, let's grab my calculator. 40 times 1,600 equals divided by 3,600. It's going to be 160 over 9 meters per second. I'm going to leave it like that as a fraction because I don't like to get all those decimals already. So what's going on? The speed, uh, the initial velocity, so u of that van, is 160 over 9. And then it's decelerating until it stops. So its final velocity, v, is going to equal to 0. And it takes him 15 meters to stop. Eh? So s equals 15. And the question is, uh, let me read that again. Find the acceleration of the van and the time taken. So what is a... What is the acceleration? Of course, we know that's a deceleration, so a negative acceleration, if you like. And how long does that take? So we always make a diagram like this, so we know which equation uh, of motion to choose. Now, for the first uh, part, how to find the acceleration, you could use uh, v squared equals u squared plus 2as uh, to find the acceleration. So 0 equals brackets there, 160 over 9 squared plus 2 times a times uh, s, which is 15. And if you work it out and rearrange that properly, you get for the acceleration minus 10.5 meters per second square, uh, which makes sense, a negative acceleration because it's decelerating. Fantastic. Then, uh, how long does that take? Again, uh, pick the appropriate equation of motion. V equals u plus at, for instance. So, zero has its final velocity, is its initial velocity, um, minus the acceleration. You know now is 10 point. And then you make sure you use the unrounded version. So, don't say 10.5, but 10.53. I think it's 4.97942. T, if I remember that correctly, on my calculator screen, rearrange that equation, T will be 1.69. Good, I hope that was useful. Check my website, explainingmaths.com, for all the other free resources. Uh, like and share if it was useful, and take care. Bye-bye.